welcome to our third block where we're going to be talking about social media tools. Um, and it's important that you pay attention for a couple reasons. One, setting them up properly um, will ensure that you are set up for success in the rest of this class. And it's something, you know, a skill set that you wouldn't be able to take with you when you leave this class because there's jobs that are, you know, found just from being able to set up social platforms and optimize them properly. And you want to make sure that you have cohesion across a brand and understand what each tool is used for and how it's used. Um, and the other reason why that you want to make sure that you're paying attention and following through is that this assignment will help guide you um, in setting up all of the, um, the foundation for assignment one. So the way that we're going to be doing this is I'm going to be talking and I'm going to then have you guys pause, go ahead, apply the application that I just discussed, and then come back and then we'll continue on to the next platform. And you'll go ahead and just sign up for the platform, log the URL on your support document found in assignment one, and then again, um, once you've done that and you have signed up properly, um, we will go ahead and move on. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to verify if the username um, that is on your branding sheet is correct. So you want to make sure that you go on to your branding sheet and you fill it out and you look at it and say, okay, what is the name that I want to use? Um, or the names I'm thinking of using for my brand. And then you want to make sure that they are available before you go signing up and then find out later that all are available but one. So there are platforms that do this for you. A couple of things that you want to keep in mind um, when you're looking for a screen name is that you don't use any spaces. Because again, this is URL, uh, or it's going to be added to your URL for the social platforms. And spaces are not allowed in the URL. Also, you don't want to have random characters or numbers that are not related to your brand name. It's okay to shorten your brand name, but it's not okay to put something completely different or to add in random numbers that don't make logical sense to your viewers. Because they need to be able to try to figure out who your brand name is or what your brand name is in the URL. Alright, so right now we are going to go over and go to, which I forgot I already have it open, we're going to go to gnome.com. Alright, and so you would put the name you want here and hit search. But say you have a name um, after that and you know you don't see blogger available, you don't see Twitter available, you don't see Facebook, you don't see Pinterest available. Um, and the important sites that we need, so you might see is something else available. So I had looked for one before, um, and you can see it right here in the URL. And this is actually the best place to just go ahead and click on the URL and change it to you want. So if I wanted my name, Kristen, oops, let's put it on. I'll put my middle name initial. going to tell me that it's too long right here because it is. Um, so it probably would have been available, but the URL is too long because people want to keep it as short as possible. So I could try and come up here. K-O-Z for Kristen O-Z. And because it's Kristen Oz um, for my initials, that's probably why it's not available on some of the platforms because it actually spells something. So we might try Chris. Oops. Forgot to come up here and do it. It's not available.
Let's try K O Z M O M. K O Z M. All right, so then I tried different ones, and again, Twitter's not available, Facebook's not available. All right, so forgot I need to come up here. And it's not available again on another platform. Um, and you may have this issue with certain things. All right, so we could try. Um, and you would keep playing that game and doing it until you found one that worked, okay? Um, so right now I'm having a hard time finding that, but I could keep going and try, you know, criticism and all different names. And so this is why I told you to have a variation of the screen names that you'll be doing. Show them one. I have a popular name. Okay, so this one we finally have one, Chris Ozim. And so you can see that it is available on the platforms we need. So we could proceed with that potentially, um, if that's what we wanted to do. So once you have that, you'll go ahead and log down the username that you want on the support document. Um, and then you're going to move on. All right. So the next topic is blogs. What is a blog? Think about it.